7.30 in the morning, February 6th, it's 32 degrees, we're going to do Guadalupe Peak. Should get up to about 40 degrees today, very little wind, no clouds, this should be a great day. There's only one other car in the parking lot, which is rare. But I think the snowstorm may have scared people off. We had a pretty good snowstorm up here on Wednesday and Thursday. This is kind of neat, climbing this trail in the snow. It's pretty unusual. Be fun coming down. Still working my way up the front side. There's a little balancing rock arch, and then a pretty rare side out there snow. It's not often you see snow here, once or twice a year. There's the park headquarters building. And then down over here is the parking lot. And I can see my truck. It looks like a couple more cars have come in. I don't see anybody on the trail behind me though. Already had to shed two layers. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. But my ears got cold, so I had to cover them. It's probably in the mid to high 30s right now. But the sun's shining and no wind, so it's not bad at all. A drone tree. I'm making my way up the back side. Almost to the campground. I made it to the turn off to the campsite, if you can read that, with all the scratches on it. I don't get it. What do you gain by that? All right, the campsite's way back over there. You actually go over that hill. And the campsites are on the other side. We came from up that way, or down that way. And we're gonna go up this way, go up the top of this little hill, turn the corner, and then we drop down a little ways down to the bridge. rock over there that sticking up is just a great place to take a break and when it's windy you can usually hide behind it it's not too windy here today I just passed two people coming down 
and they said it is windy up on top, but that's to be expected. Take a little break, something to eat, some water. <coughs> There's the top right there. About two hours to here. See the trail heading off over that way. My plan was to go to El Capitan, that's the top of it there. But I don't know if I'll make it over there in this snow or not. That's just cool looking down there, seeing the snow. Well, get close to the top. That's it right up there. See the back side of El Capitan. Probably another 10 minutes and we'll be on top. The wind certainly picked up. Made it to the top. And this is my 31st time to make it up here. Well, you can see Sierra Blanca out there covered in snow in New Mexico, right else in New Mexico. And the top of El Capitan. Got two people coming out behind me, they're almost here. Hunter Peak over there. And Bush Mountain way out there. It's a little windy up here, but it's really not bad. I've, and there's no clouds whatsoever. It's one of the clearest days I've ever been up here. Be, uh, 
ammo can here that had a summit register in it. And it was under this metal thing. Right in that hole right there, but there's certainly nothing there now. I wonder why they took it out. If I can get down here out of the wind. There's three people coming up down there. Alright, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have a little lunch. And then we'll decide what we're gonna do on the way down. Get off the west side of Guadalupe Peak. That little house down there is the William Ranch House. You can see the salt flats out there. And then those agricultural circles out there, that's Dell City. Looking across to Shamard Peak. made it back to the truck getting ready to drive back home it's a fun trip I did fall twice coming down <clears throat> one of the few times it probably took me longer to come down than it did to go up it was so icy in places that it was just slick and just had to go slow and even then I still slipped and fell twice but luckily on the front side here the Sun had come out and softened it up a lot but when it went into the shade it was just solid ice so but it was a fun trip different I don't ever see the Guadalupe's like this very often so it was worth the trip up